Hello everyone, my name is Christos Pitis and I am a Dynamics 365 Business Central Consultant. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make use of the exact cost reversing mandatory feature in Dynamics 365 Business Central. So to ensure that returned items, both in sales and purchases, are valued at the same cost as the original transaction being put back on inventory or drawn from inventory. Go ahead and create a new item and set the costing method to FIFO. The automatic cost posting and automatic cost adjustment fields in inventory setup are off for now. Now let's create three purchase orders and post them all. Check the item ledger entries. Notice the entries are open and not applied to any outbound entries yet. Check the value entries of each item ledger entry. Visit the purchases and payable setup and sales and, and receivable setup and activate the exact cost reversing mandatory fields. Create a purchase return order for the 23rd of January of 2020 with unit cost £10.
the proper way is to use the copying document function so to copy the correct invoice information and apply this outbound entry to the correct inbound entry for now i will do it the manual way so to demonstrate where the problem is notice the direct unit cost is set to 30 pounds instead of 10 that is because the system takes the last direct cost from the item card and the apply to item entry field is empty i will now delete the lines and use the copy document function The direct unit cost is set to £10 as expected and the application to item entry field is filled in with the purchase entry. Post it and have a look at the item ledger entries again. You will see that are not open anymore. Visit the following for the return item ledger entry, value entries and applied entries. In simple words, the return entry has used the correct unit cost and has been closed off because it linked to the correct purchase entry. I will run the adjust cost item entries bad job. The unit cost has changed to 25 pounds. It's two entries open. And remember the adjust cost but job is not set to run automatically in this example and FIFO uses the average logic to calculate this field. I will run the post inventory cost to GL. If you open the value entries, you will see the updated cost posted to GL field. Create a sales order and sell one item for £50. Click F7 to view the statistics on this document. The original cost is £25 as per the unit cost on the item card. Post it and check the item ledger entries. A sales type item ledger entry has been created and linked with the entry 345. Remember the costing assumption is FIFO.
run the adjust cost item entries and post inventory cost to GL batches. And revisit the item ledger entries and notice the cost for the sale entry. It has inherited the unit cost of the purchase price, the one that is linked against, according to FIFO. Check the value entries too. You can now see a corrective line of £5. Create a sales return order using the copy document function. The system links the inbound entry with the correct outbound entry. The cost is £20 as expected. Post it and run the adjust cost item entries and post inventory cost to GL batches. The sales return is still open and will be closed off when an outbound entry is posted for that item. Lastly, create and post an item charge purchase invoice for the receipt that is linked to the sale. Post it and run the batch jobs.
The extra £5 freight cost is added not only to the purchase line involved, but also to the sales and the sales return. 